In this video, you will learn how to use TCS 230 color sensor with Arduino and find the RGB values of any color and then how to use these RGB values to recognize any color. So we will be making a color scanner and a color recognizer. Using the TCS 230 color sensor is a bit tricky. There are things that you need to take care of while using this color sensor. While performing the tests, I found some issues including the fluctuating values which can be due to a couple of reasons. We will talk about these issues in detail but first a few words about the sponsor of this video. PCB boards used in this project are sponsored by the PCBA company. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, PCBA also provides a great variety of services including aluminum PCB, rigid flex, metal core, flexible, high frequency, high TG, thick copper, HDI and LED PCBs. The sign up process hardly takes one minute and you are welcomed with a $5 welcome bonus. What are you waiting for? Go and get your first prototype order for free. Click on the first link in the description. While making the RGB color scanner, the most prominent thing that I noticed was the fluctuating RGB values. This was due to the surrounding light. You can clearly see on the OLED display module as I move around, the values start to fluctuate a lot. I kept performing my tests using white and yellow color papers. I kept observing the values how the color sensor reacts when the surrounding light changes. The values also fluctuate when the distance is changed. To get approximately the constant RGB values, I decided to cover this sensor to reduce the effect of the surrounding light and to keep the distance constant. Now we can use this setup as the RGB color scanner. We can easily find the red, green and blue values of any color. For the background color, I'm getting quite stable values. This is amazing. Now we can use these values in the programming to recognize this color. Anyhow, I kept performing my tests on the yellow, white and black colors. After I was satisfied with the RGB values, I started recording these values for the color recognition. First, I started with the yellow color. I wrote the RGB values on a paper which later I will use in the programming. Next I noted down the RGB values for the white color and finally I did it for the black color. Now we can use these RGB values for the color recognition purposes. I modified my RGB color scanner program to make the color recognition system. I had to add a few lines of code. I defined range for each color to get the most accurate response. Although the effect of the surrounding light is reduced, but still we get some fluctuations in the RGB values. These fluctuations can be compensated by defining a range, which of course I will explain in the programming section. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, TCS color sensor pinout and technical specifications. Number two, complete circuit diagram explanation number three programming and finally number four testing without any further delay let's get started the components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon the components purchase links are given in the description this is the TCS230 programmable color light to frequency converter module. The TCS230 color sensor consists of the silicon photodiodes and a current to frequency converter on a single monolithic CMOS integrated circuit. In the functional diagram you can see photodiode array and current to frequency converter. This output a square wave 50% duty cycle with frequency directly proportional to light intensity. The TCS230 color sensor module has a total of 8 male headers out of which we will be using only 6 male headers. Ground, OE which is the output enable, VCC, 
out S2 and S3. The TCS230 color sensor module is also provided with four white LEDs. This module can be easily powered up using the Arduino's 5 volts. If you want to know more about the TCS230 programmable color light to frequency converter module, then consider reading my article available on electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. This is the complete circuit diagram, same for the RGB color scanner and color recognition. The 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator is used to power up the Arduino Nano. The 128 by 64 OLED display module is connected with the Arduino Nano through the I2C bus. The SCL and SDA pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's A5 and A4 pins. While the VCC and ground pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground pins. If you have never used the OLED display module, then I highly recommend watch my getting started tutorial on the OLED display modules. The TCS230 color sensor VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground pins. The OE pin which is the output enable pin is connected with the digital pin D4, S2 is connected with D2 of the Arduino, S3 is connected with D3 and out pin of the TCS230 color sensor module is connected with the Arduino's pin 5. Next I designed a PCB for the Arduino Nano which I will use as the development board. I added female headers for the 3.3V, 12V, 5V and ground. This area can be used as the Vero board for soldering other electronic components. I also added female headers on the left and right sides of the Arduino Nano for connecting the jumper wires. I double checked all the connections and finally generated the Gerber files and placed an online order on the PCBWay official website. These are the PCB boards which I received from the PCBWay company. As you can see the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the solder mask looks amazing. Next I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. This is how the final circuit look of the soldering. Finally I added the 128 by 64 I2C or LED display module and connected the wires of the TCS230 color sensor module as for the circuit diagram already explained. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. This program is written for the RGB color scanning while this program is used for the color recognition. Both the codes are exactly the same except the few lines which I added for the color recognition. For the detailed explanation read my article. Let's practically see both the codes in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.